everybody, I'm Nikki and I've been living in my Prius since the winter of 2019 into 2020 and I am gearing up for a three week trip with my mom. That's right, two people living inside one little Prius. Get on your side. Get over there. Get there is, this is a tight fit. Are you swear you? This is as close as that. We're gonna hit all the most amazing spots, but to do so, we gotta pack right and we have to be efficient on space. I haven't taken you guys on a tour yet, so I'm gonna do that today. It's always been an unconventional dream of mine to live out of my car. Here's a quick flash of week one living in my car, what it looked like. I had no idea what I was doing. I figured it out along the way. Let me show you how much I fit in this car with the seats still in, with no roof box. I didn't have a bike, I had rollerblades, but I fit so much stuff. Can you believe that? Oh, it's crazy. I'm so excited because I'm taking my mom on a three week adventure. I'm taking her to the Southwest. So I got a roof box. I took out my back seats and turned it into a storage area. You can check out my other YouTube video if you wanna do the same thing or if you're just interested how I did it. It's gonna be great. Two people living in a Prius. Oh my goodness. Um, all right, so let's get packed up and I'm gonna show you everything that I use and that you might need on an adventure in your car. Now, as I am packing my car and showing you where things go, I'll also explain how it was before I built it up. Check out my other YouTube videos if you want to know how I did these things, but let me take you on a little tour and let's fill this baby up. First things first, we're going to pack the roof box. Now, I didn't have a roof box for the first year. The only fun items that I kept around were my slack line and my roller blades and my hammock. But now that I have a roof box, I have a lot more fun toys. So let me tell you what goes in there. One of my favorite newest additions. So this is the fun part is just getting everything in and out. Hi! Oh God, Tuli, you gotta open up a little bit more. Okay. One of my favorite newest additions is my stand-up pedal board. This is literally the reason why I got this roof box. I am so excited about this thing. It's amazing. All right, next up, we have two yoga mats, one for me and one for my mom. Okay, so we have two floaties so mom and I can float on the river. Got my slack line. My roller blades are going in here. These are literally my favorite thing. Every time I see a flat road, I just go nuts on them. Sunset roll. We have to be very strategic with our packing. We'll still have more room, but I just want to make sure that closes. Okay. Wow, this thing has so much room in it. I love it. My helmet for when I'm riding my bike for safety. Our chairs are gonna go right in front here. I also got a cover for my bike because I am adding a bike to my rig so I can go gravel bike. I'm really excited about that. So just all the stuff for storage is gonna go in here. We have the tent. We are so obsessed with this tent. Look how fast it pops up. Hammock, backpacks and fannies. We're gonna put the table up here. This is like a $20 Walmart fold out table. What are we putting in here, mom? A sleeping bag. Mom's Maybe. sleeping bag. All right, you gotta figure it out. <laughs> My mom's uh, blanket was definitely taking up a lot of room. So one thing about living in your car is you want everything as compact as possible. And so it takes up as little space as possible. Every centimeter counts when you live in your car. So I'm teaching her how to turn her blanket from that huge box into just a small little string backpack. Every day, it takes a little extra time, but it's taking up so much less room. All right, let's throw this in the car. We got one of mom's down quilts. This one is an extra blanket and a pillow because let's be real, when it gets cold, you want as much as possible. I have my dry bag that I'm just gonna place under here. I have spare sheets. My mom will be using these, but it's always nice to have another pair so you're not always doing laundry. So spare sheets and pillowcases are going up there. I also always have extra pillowcases, about four of them, because I just like when that's clean and my face feels clean. So this is all the fun items and tent and blankets for person number two. Living out of your car, the name of the game is organization. It's kind of fun. It's like just making a puzzle all the time. 
literally the only reason I was able to live in my car for a year without the roof box, without the seats taken out, is because I'm very good at organization, which is one thing you're gonna have to do all the time. So figuring out where everything goes is key. You can optimize your space, but we have this filled up and I'm gonna leave it just like this. Still allows for extra room if we wanna put more in here, but the roof box is full. Mom deserves everything she gave me life. Now I'm gonna give her an amazing adventure. We are gonna fill up underneath the car. I'm gonna lower my bike rack. I am so excited for all the gravel biking I'm gonna do. This has so much space. I'm actually so surprised by how much storage space is in the Prius. So right now there's nothing in here except for we have jumper cables, a scraper in case there's snow or ice, and an air compressor. These are things that I think everybody should have. Just always have your emergency items. If you're living out of your car, you never know what's gonna happen. And the cubby on the side here, which the Prius also has, that's just where I'm gonna put my extra cleaning wipes, baby wipes, and then these are my mesh window covers. I have ones for when it's cold and one for when it's hot. So the cold ones are a thinner material and that allows more airflow. This is a thicker material, which still allows airflow, but keeps a little bit more heat in than the other ones. So we'll put those in the side there and close it up. That is the side. I put my paper towels, I have my paper bags. I absolutely love these because I eat a ton of avocados. And fun fact, if you put an avocado in a paper bag, it ripens up faster. I also use a lot of plastic containers. The plastic containers are amazing when you're living in a car because you can see what's in there or just in general. I have hand sanitizer, sanitary things, extra wipes. This is all my laundry stuff. Actually, one of my favorite things is I have my clothing line, powdered laundry, and this is if I ever have access to a sink, I can do hand washes and a ton of extra bags for trash. I cannot stress enough if please pick up your trash. So many times I'm showing up to campsites and I'm cleaning up for other people. Please look up LNT ethics. If you're gonna be doing this, please respect other people and the outdoors. Next, I have my other plastic bag. Now this one is all my essentials. I have Velcro for if any of these ever come down, first aid kit, Gorilla Tape, um, things for fabric. I also have a sewing kit, extra mesh bags, safety pins, string, lint rollers, just all my extra emergency stuff that you might need. That will go underneath right here. I also have my umbrella. I used to cheer for the Jets, so I am a little bit biased, but how cute. All right, and then I load up on the sides with toilet paper. Also, I really don't like waste, so I always have a ton of hand cloths. Um, I would rather use hand cloths and wash them then just use a ton of paper towels. Uh, I'm also really keen on hiking, so my water bladders and little things like that will go in that storage area right there. Now it's time to put the mattress down. Let's go get it. Ah, I'm so excited. Mattress coming out. Okay, so I started off with a memory foam topper. And then when I was in Colorado, this kind couple was giving away their king size. Actually, they were giving away their California king size bed. I couldn't believe it. But I said, I'll take it, I'll take it. So, whew, I upgraded my mattress about six months into my travels. And now I got this baby. <laughs> you will not believe this. What I did was I took my electric turkey cutter and I sliced it to size to fit perfectly in my car. This thing is more comfortable than any bed I have ever slept on in my life. Pull this all the way in here. But I keep the bed made probably, I would say like 80% of the time. And I'll just take the top sheet and I'll fold it back over all my bedding just to keep everything clean. One thing I do to keep my sheets on is I use these. They are amazing. They just clamp on to sheets. It'll keep it tighter and it'll keep it on with all the movement. Next, we're gonna utilize the space next to the mattress. So on this side is where I put my extra hand towels and then I have my extra white towels. We have extra towels in this case because it's gonna be two of us, but normally I might have just these two and some hand towels. Next, we're gonna put a mattress topper on top of the mattress. Now, I won't normally have this in my build because I have my mattress, but since it's two of us and we wanna be super comfy, 
it's like having two beds. So I'll place my mattress topper like so, so we can take it out every night when we want to sleep in it. So when people aren't around, I have my regular mattress plus a topper. Oh yeah, we're going to keep this. This is so comfy. The other open area next to the mattress, I fill with my shoes. So I have a pair of sneakers, my climbing shoes, because I really like indoor and outdoor climbing, water shoes, flip-flops, Converse, and just cute flats in case I ever want to go out. These are my all-time favorite hiking boots. I've literally offered people rewards if they can find these before. Still doing that, 9M if anyone finds them. They're discontinued and these are my second pair. I have like separation anxiety with these guys. So if you can find them new, let me know. But these go right here on the floor. Right here on the side of each door goes my hiking poles. I have one here, two on the other side. In the side of my door, I have soap, coconut oil, because I put this on every night, and hand sanitizer. We're gonna fill up all this space in the front, which if you take a look, that's a lot of space. Now, before I had the roof rack and even the seats right here, I had my cooler on both sides and in between, I fit roller blades, slack line, hammock, extra food, and my shower stuff all underneath over here, along with extra almond milk, canned goods, and water. So now that I have all this room, let me show you what I'm gonna do now. It's a party in the Prius. Right. It's a party in the I Prius. I just got a week. <laughs> On this side, I have a cooler for all my dried goods. Literally everything from tea to protein powders, dried foods. The reason I use this cooler is because it holds up my head over here. Just be mindful of what you can and can't carry. I'll always have two gallons of drinking water right here, along with other canned goods that I buy, maybe my almond milks, but it's amazing how much you fit there. Little things like that, it's just filling in all the cracks. Also, right here, when it does come down to it, is where I'll put even a pair of shoes, things like that. Because I have so much more room, we're not gonna need to do that. But when I didn't have my roof rack, and when I didn't have my seats covered, I literally utilized all this space. Utilize all your space if you don't have the extra storage. Yeti goes in on this side. So how I'll get this in is I'll lift it up. I'll prop it up onto my passenger seat. It's very hard to do on your own, but you eventually get into a routine. I'll use my shoulder to hold up the mattress. I'll slide this in through the side, lean back and place it down like so. In order for that to work, you need to make sure your passenger seat is all the, way, all the way forward. But just like the other side, it holds up the head perfectly. I did this prior to taking my seats out and I'm doing the same thing even with these new cubbies because it allows for perfectly flat sleeping. Pop-up shower right here. I put my water in the dash because during the day it gets so freaking hot up there. It's like boiling shower. This is like actually the coldest water I've ever been in. Oh my god, I hate this. Okay. I'm, I don't think I can do this. <laughs> if you could smell me, I smell like roses and biodegradable soap. Another reason I love the shower thing there is it holds up my mattress so I can get in here. Now we still have all this space to fill, even the spaces in front and in between there. The center spot between my two coolers is not that easy to get to. What I did before was I put stuff I didn't use as often. For instance, that's where I stored my books, my slack line, my rollerblades. So what I'm going to use that for now, since there's a bunch of us who need extra toiletries, extra things. Before, what I did was I put things inside little string bags and stacked it so it wouldn't fall when I took my coolers out. But now I have this. So the things I'm not going to use as often, for instance, I have extra shampoos, conditioners, soaps, that's going to go in here. I have a separate shower bag that I leave on top, but I'll place everything in here. I'll place it between. So now when I remove my coolers, nothing's going to fall around. So I'll keep filling that up with my extension cord. Make sure you have a battery jump starter because my car just died and now it's back to life. A non-essential that I'm excited to see if I end up using, a curling iron for my hair. 
Um, I'm really good at losing my toothbrushes, so I always have extra toothbrushes on hand. And fun fact, I was a hairstylist at a high-end salon on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. And so I do hair on the road sometimes for extra cash if I run into anyone who needs a haircut. And if you see me and you need one, come find me. More things going in the center, nail polish, tea tree oil, all the extra hair stuff. And now the things that I am gonna use more often, for instance, my camera tripod. I pull this thing out almost every day. Um, any of my filming equipment, which honestly, I use my phone for almost everything because cameras are so advanced now, but that's all gonna start going here. So let's start filling up and I'll just name out everything I'm throwing in. Anytime I go hiking, this is anything I could possibly need so I don't forget it from my life straw, extra headlamps, blisters, sunscreen, purifier, my grail purifier, knee help, first aids, ibuprofen, tissues, hair stuff, anything you can need. I rip this out every time I do a long time hike. It's just like a little puzzle. See what we can fit. Rewind. I revoke my statement. I am not using clear boxes or cardboard boxes because I need to optimize space. We're gonna put everything in bags and repack. It's getting dark out, but I have a goal to have this finished. At least this part, closer tomorrow. This is all my hiking essentials. Just things when I'm doing any long distance hikes that are over 15 miles. This is one of my favorite things. So when it's raining out and I don't want to get out and use my jet boil, I have this heating cup for my car. This will boil water with the cigarette lighter in 17 minutes. So I'll have that right in there. This is another water boiler that I really like. This you just put into a cup of water. Can you tell I really like coffee and tea? Yes, you can. In here I have a fan. This is a game changer. If you don't have a fan that hangs or can be propped up, I recommend getting one. This will save you when it's hot out. I also have, here's some fun stuff, extra fuel. The extra fuel I always like to just have back here for all uses whenever I need. This is a handheld pump for my bike and then all of my coffee supplies. It has my jet fuel, jet boil, my coffee beans, AeroPress. Stevia, mushroom powder, everything that I use for my coffee, and my cooking supplies. This is everything I need for dinner. I have my Stanley cooking set in here. Everything, it's amazing. It's gonna be the first thing you're gonna see and easy to grab along with my selfie stick. Selfie stick and coffee, all the things you need in life. I also put my home gym in here, so we just have a resistance band, short and long, lacrosse balls, jump ropes, more resistance bands. These will also go in here. And we still have so much room. Also, like I was telling you guys before, we want to utilize all this space. So I have an ax, a little hatchet, and I'm just going to go ahead and put this in this little cranny. Wow, this is really hard wood. <laughs> <laughs> and we still have all this room. As you can see, we've been doing this all day. It's nighttime. Here we go. So practicality wise, you don't wanna do this long-term, but what I did here was I filled up zero degree sleeping bag, three pillows, mom needs two. The topper is on top of itself. With one person, this isn't gonna happen, or if two were in the same bed, it would lay flat. You don't need this much, but we have two separate beds down comforter and a ton of blankets. So I'm just loading up the actual back with a ton of bedding because it's going to get very cold some nights. Um, but it's also going to be really hot during the day sometimes. So we need a little bit of everything. So all of my hats go on top of my car seat. Um, it's actually kind of fun because when you close the car door, sometimes people think you're inside it. Organizing the center console, if you want to take a look, it's kind of just my odds and ends that I use every single day, or I need easy access. So I have chargers, lint brush, my sunglasses, a deck of cards, ibuprofen, headlamp, hand cream, sanitizer, mace, a lot of it, another 
pepper spray, knives, lipstick, selfie remotes, all my masks, hair stuff, carabiners. I also have um, electronics and chargers, earbuds for when I'm hiking or around, and that's what I'm putting in there. Now, in this right here, I have disposable masks for when I work out, lighter, little funnel, koozie, extra light. Now in here, I have a hairbrush, a can opener. I also put all of my utensils in here. Hair clip, because I always lose those. I always put one up where my headlamp is too. And my mala beads from India. My emergency knife. Machete. Get a little crazy here. We make it nice and easy. This is everyday use stuff as well. These are my uh, <laughs> blow up solar panel lights. These are my favorite things ever. So they are basically solar lights and I will keep these in the dash all day closed up. But when they are not, you can have them open or closed. I use my carabiner and I just attach them to here and they're pretty much here all day. If my towel isn't there drying or my bathing suit, things like that. We're gonna fill up the space between the cooler and the mattress so this way we can put our head down on it. So this is actually my library. I have all the books that I wanna read. And I'm gonna place that right there. And it'll be a perfect headrest to keep the mattress nice and flat. And when I run through all these books, then I'll go to the local book swap and switch them out. On the side here next to our library, we have our solar panel. It folds up. I put it in a pillowcase because it gets dirty AF out in the desert or anywhere else. This goes underneath my mattress. All the way in the center. And then my 15 pound weights go here. My portable power station lives right here next to my library and my other home gym. Let's talk about the side door here. Extra bags for trash. I urged earlier, clean up your trash, even other people's. Let's help out. Shovel, also part of LNT ethics. I think you should look up. LNT, leave no trace ethics. When you, time for an adventure. Next I'm packing some of my clothes that I don't wear as often. I put them in laundry bags and I'll label them like so. For instance, these are all my dresses. Uh, things that I don't wear as often, I'm super active so I usually only wear workout clothes, but sometimes maybe there's a dance or a date, I don't know. So these are gonna go underneath in here with all the other things along with a pair of high heel shoes that may never get use, but maybe, maybe I'll get crazy. To get these online, it's like $300 just for one window. It's absolutely insane. I made these do-it-yourself window coverings. One side is reflective to deflect any sun and heat, and the other side is black just to be a little stealthy. And it just looks really nice. This is the black side. Can't really tell. I love them. If you want to learn how to make them, I have a YouTube video on how to do so. Search for that. These are also going to go in the roof box. But I made these so when I'm not with my mom, I can actually hang them from the top of the car for less room by using self-tapping screws. So we're just loading up. We're taking off this morning. These are extra waters from an adventure. I don't control plastic, but if you buy something, you should use it. And now the big water bottles. So normally I would have my yoga mat right here, but yoga mat's in here now. And we're using this for our shower bottles and drinking water when water's not available you can never have enough water mommy you excited yeah last, last but not least we put in our clothes with three duffel bags and these are going to go across right here three across and reason being when we're going to sleep these will just go in the front seat because there will be nothing in the front seat usually isn't this is my car, all set up to sleep. When I'm living on my own, I do have stuff in the front seat, but I'll just stack it on top. But for the two of us, we'll have one, two, and I'll take this from you. 
my love. We'll come around. Third duffel bag. We'll go on this side. Yep. So we're completely loaded up side to side. Whew. And now we just have two little purse bags and we're good. Let's party. I love it. Putting on the bike and that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll see you next time.